Hope you're having an amazing day. Today I am looking at the Ingenious ECW336. Uh, this is an indoor tri-band wireless uh, Wi-Fi 6E access point. So inside the box we do get this uh, top cover which also has the QR codes to get the mobile app and the quick start guide as well. And then here we have the main device itself which we're gonna go ahead and take a little closer look after. A little uh, guide here and this is where we have the ceiling and wall mount screw kits. Just something to keep in mind, if you're new to access point, uh, just like the one we see here, uh, you can see we have the wall mounts and the device itself, but there's no power adapter. So this one doesn't come with one. So you have two options. You can get uh, like a power adapter like this one here or or a power over the ethernet adapter like the one we have here as well. If you have a switch that supports the PoE and uh, usually most of the good ones do, and uh, then that's why you don't really need a power adapter or the power ethernet adapter that I have here. Just a few key points before we get to the testing. This access point supports a uh, five gigabit uh, PoE and it is cloud managed. So you will need to access the AP from the app or website, which I will go through. Also, one thing about the access points now, they are very simple to set up. Actually, sometimes even easier than setting up a wireless router. So it's not just for businesses, you're able to use this uh, at home, especially if you get a modem from your ISP. And uh, usually the wireless range on most of those modems provided by your internet company are not that great. So if you need to get better Wi-Fi range around your home, then getting an access point like this one here is uh, very ideal. I will also go ahead and list all of the specs of this uh, ECW336 AP just so I don't uh, bore you with all those uh, details. So taking a look at the device itself here, at the top we do have some uh, indicators. So we do have the power indicator uh, when it is connected. And also we get the 2.4, 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz connection. So it will let you know what's connected and what's running as it will flash. And at the back, uh, this is the QR code, which you will need to scan when you're setting up the AP for the first time. And uh, down here, we can see the five uh, gigabit port here, which it does support PoE. And then we also get the 12 volt uh, adapter if you wish to do that. And then the reset down here as well. And uh, now we are on the dashboard here. So you're able to see a few things uh, right away here. Uh, so I do have one access point and uh, Right now I do have the six gigahertz enabled only because I was running a few tests and uh, we can see here two clients connected. I do have uh, the desktop connected and also my phone as well. Scrolling down, we can see the through output here. It's already collecting some information. Um, one thing you will see here, so there are some pro features as we see here, but the free feature day is enabled right now. Scrolling down, we have the top access points, top clients, top SSIDS here as well. So if we go on the left-hand side here, we do have dashboard access points. So if we go ahead and check out the access points, so we can see the, some of the information here. There's a few things that we can go ahead and see on the under manage here, dashboard, access point switches, and so on here. And uh, under clients here, we're able to see a little bit more information. So we're definitely able to go ahead and change the names here and uh, go ahead and uh, set block list, the low list, kick. Checking out the settings menu here. So access point SSID here. So right now it, we have it at six gigahertz. If I go ahead and click here, this is uh, what you're getting right now. So I am able to enable the 2.4, the five gigahertz as well. And uh, here are the security types you're getting and scrolling down. So we do get the multi-link operation, so MLO, and then uh, some other options as you see here. I'm not gonna go through all of these individually because it would be a few hour video. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, like kind of skim through all the features this uh, AP has. And then if you go under bandwidth limit, uh, here you're able to set uh, per client, per SSID here, portal. Uh, here we're able to enable that authentication type and then we also are able to set a redirect url and then uh, advanced settings here we have uh, some of the sessions and idle timeouts here and we do also get the splash page as well this is great for a business and the schedule uh, for a business if you're closed at night you don't want internet for any reason for guests you can go ahead and uh, just go ahead and uh, set up your timings here which is great 
and the access control as well. So you're able like once you go ahead and set up VIP list or block list, you're able to enable those and uh, you're going to be able to add and remove clients from here. So going under radio now. So here are a few things you're able to set. Under general settings, under AP, uh, these are a few settings. So LED lights, you're able to turn those off if you wish to do so. And uh, here are some of the other settings. Uh, Wi-Fi calling, so that's the pro version you're gonna need to get. Um, and then uh, here are the rest. And if you go under advanced settings, so if you go under analyze event logs here, we're able to see a few things. Uh, so as soon as I turned the AP on, I did get the firmware upgraded automatically. I didn't really need to do anything. And then uh, you're able to see pretty much everything else here when it goes offline, online and all that, how long uh, the uptime has been and all that stuff as well. Uh, under manage, we can see uh, quite a few information here, uh, like the serial number and everything else here, clients, uh, firmware version here, uptime, and uh, last updated. And here we're able to see a little bit more information. Uh, there are a few pages here. So we can see the CPU, so how much is being utilized, memory and everything else here. And uh, speed test, we're able to actually run a speed test straight from here. And uh, trace route, and uh, we do have some uh, pocket capture here, but that's a pro feature. So you're getting some uh, pretty nice information. And the same thing we're able to see from your smartphone as well. Next, I ran the, the open speed test uh, so we can uh, go ahead and check the bandwidth performance. I ran the test with a 2.5 uh, gigabit switch. Uh, keep in mind that I have the access point very close to the test subject. It's not the most ideal situation, but uh, we are just doing this uh, so you can see the max speeds. With the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, we get around 100 to 110 uh, megabits per second in download and 90 to 100 in upload. With the 5 gigahertz, uh, we get the 950 to 970 megabits in download and 700 to 740 in uh, upload. With the 6 gigahertz, uh, we get 2 gigabits in uh, download and uh, 1.6 in upload. And for anyone that's uh, looking to see the speedtest.net, uh, I do have a uh, a 1.5 gig connection and uh, the speed tests were done with my uh, Google Pixel 8 Pro. And here we can see the 2.4 gigahertz, uh, 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz speeds here. And now we're checking out the temperature that the AP has been running for quite some time now. Uh, we can see here it's a, a, around 41.2 Celsius at the hottest point. This is uh, on the front. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn it around where it's gonna be a little bit more warmer. So the back here is uh, more like aluminum and uh, we can see here it's spreading a little bit more heat. Uh, 41.2 there, uh, 36 and then uh, around 36 on the other side. So the hottest point is around uh, 41. One other thing which I will also do is just open up the unit here just so you can kind of see like how it looks like on the inside. Uh, but before we get to that, uh, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at some of the measurements and uh, how much this weighs. So we get around uh, 8 inches or around uh, 20 and a half uh, centimeters, the width. So the depth, so around uh, 3 centimeters. And uh, just checking out the weight, so around uh, 641 grams. So once you go ahead and remove these uh, four screws here, uh, it will just, uh, we're just using this uh, guitar pick to kind of remove it. And uh, this is uh, the top cover. Uh, definitely we can see like a lot of uh, antennas here. So, so far I can see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 here. And uh, just here's a little closer look so you can see what's uh, going on here. Really hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video. If you have any questions or want me to run any tests with this uh, AP here, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do so. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next uh, video.